We're here at the Salvation Army Vales Gardens, right in Avon, learning about horticultural therapy. Patricia Esperone joins us now, and you're a master gardener, uh, among many other things. You wear a lot of hats around here, but this is your new passion, horticultural therapy. Tell us about this. What is it? Horticultural therapy is just a modality that you can use to work with a variety of different clients. You use a garden and greenhouse setting. Mm -hmm. So basically working with plants to help people with their physical, cognitive, mental health needs. It is something that can be used in just about any application. Okay, and this has been around for a long time. Tell us uh, kind of how it got its start or how it actually became, you know, more well known. It's, it's really gained momentum lately, but even back to our founding father, uh, Dr. Benjamin Rush, he was using it to help his psychiatry patients. So it's been around for a long time. Okay, all right. So how does it work? So you basically come in and I get it. It's beautiful. You're working with plants. You're working in nature. That in itself can really, you know, help release all the good, good things that we need. But what scientifically, what kind of scientific evidence backs this? Well, just digging in soil will release serotonin in your brain. There's little microorganisms that make it elevate your mood. But it, it, you know, the sunbathing, you're out and you're getting your vitamin D, you're getting some oxygen, you're getting your exercise, and then aromatherapy. So there's a lot of components. Yeah, yeah. And they're finding that it really is helpful, you know, whether it's from the little, little kids all the way towards hospice or palliative care. Yes. Tell us about this. Well, it's something you can come in and you say, okay, I'm going to be working with preschoolers. How can we help them learn empathy? We can have them talk to a sad tree to help it oh. feel better. <laughs> if we have somebody who's coming in from hospice, we might want them to try some herbs that are really familiar to them to help break the ice and connect with some loved ones to get their mind off of you know, their, in, their pending um, death and decline. Yeah. It's a way to work through that. All right. And that's your goal is to work with the community to help bring this resource to yes. a lot of different groups, nonprofit groups, individuals in need. Yes. The Salvation Army really wants to nurture the mind, body and the spirit. So we've invited anybody in the community to come and utilize this space. And we would love to see a lot more partnership with nonprofits in the Valley and businesses as well. They can bring their corporate groups here for team building. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Fun little projects. You've got the, your little heart paper that you make yes. too. And different crafts that you can do out in the gardens. So it's a great resource. Well, Patricia, if we want to learn more, what's the best source? Visiting our Facebook page. Then people can see the programs that we've done previously. Okay. All right. Horticultural therapy right here at the Salvation Army Gardens.